Hello Church, I'm Pastor Jeremy Peters of the Court Street United Methodist Church in downtown Flint. Today we're continuing a series of devotions that we've been calling 22 Questions. This series is a collaborative project of the Flint Mission Zone, a coalition of United Methodist congregations and ministries in and around the city of Flint. In this series, we're looking at a set of questions that were important to the growth of the Methodist movement 300 years ago, and we're discovering that these questions can still be helpful as we ourselves grow closer to God today. In the 1700s, John Wesley came up with a list of 22 questions that were designed to shape the spirituality of the people called Methodist. He encouraged every Methodist to ask these questions on a regular basis. Today we're going to look at question number 18 on John Wesley's list, Am I Proud? Honestly, it's a bit surprising that John Wesley waits until question number 18 to ask us about pride. In his writing and in his preaching, it's clear that John Wesley believes this is one of the most important spiritual challenges any believer will face. In his classic book, A Plain Account of Christian Perfection, Wesley says that the first advice he would give to someone who wants to grow in love and in faith is to watch and pray continuously against pride. Mr. Wesley warns that even those who constantly say, everything I have comes from God, I give God all the glory, I give God all the credit, even those people can still fall into the trap of pridefulness by thinking and believing that they have more wisdom and more knowledge and more love than they actually have. According to John Wesley, pride damages our spiritual growth in two important ways. Pride cuts us off from one another, and it causes us to miss out on opportunities to learn and grow. Wesley imagines someone who is so full of pride that he says, I have learned as much as any living person can teach me. I don't have any more need of preachers or of teachers. If we are truly wise, John Wesley says, we will be humble enough to learn not only from the greatest of teachers, but also even from the weakest preacher in the city. In fact, Wesley says, those who are truly wise will be humble enough to learn from anyone, even from non-believers. As he talks about pride, John Wesley reminds us of the words of the Apostle Paul. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the Apostle compares the church to a human body. Everyone has a gift, he says, and every part of the body has a purpose. Paul points out that pridefulness destroys the body. The minute the eye says to the hand, I have no need of you, the minute the head says to the feet, I have no need of you, the body begins to fall apart. This is exactly what John Wesley is warning about. He worries that our pridefulness will cause us to say, I have advanced so far towards God that I don't need anybody. 2,000 years after Paul's warning, and 300 years after John Wesley's words of caution, we can still see followers of Jesus making these very same spiritual mistakes. There are still whole portions of the church who say, I could never learn anything from a woman. I can only grow in my faith if my preacher is a man. Likewise, there are many who say, I couldn't possibly learn about God from a gay preacher, or from a trans preacher, or from a preacher who speaks English as a second language, or from an old preacher, or a young preacher, or a preacher with tattoos, or a preacher with long hair, or a preacher with short hair, and on, and on, and on. John Wesley and Paul the Apostle remind us that every time we say, I cannot learn from that person. We close our ears and our hearts 
to the voice of God, who sends and speaks through many messengers. I've always suspected that there must be a reason why John Wesley waits until the home stretch in his list of questions before he asks about pridefulness. The whole point of these questions is to help us grow towards God day by day. And by the grace of God, we may come to a point in our lives when we can give an enthusiastic yes to questions like, Can I be trusted? Am I enjoying prayer? Do I get to bed on time and get up on time? And there may be a time when we can honestly say no to questions like, Am I self-conscious, self-pitying, or self-justifying? And am I jealous, impure, or critical? If that happens, if by the grace of God we begin to grow in all of these areas, If we're feeling pretty good about ourselves after 17 questions, John Wesley wants us to know that there is one more hurdle to cross. There's one more temptation to face. If we grow in all of these ways, and that growing makes us proud, proud to the point where we look down on others and fail to hear God speaking through others, then all of that hard work and growth will be for nothing, and we will be farther away from God than we were when we started. Would you pray with me? God of the mustard seed, you bless the meek and give shelter to the birds of the air. Give us open and humble hearts that we might continue to grow in faith and hope and love until the day comes when only love remains. Through Christ who humbled himself even to the point of death on a cross, we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for spending some time with us today. You can find a new devotion right here at the same time next week. Until then, keep on asking questions. Thank you.